Ah, what is good, guys? We are here with Chill Shadow Wars. This trolls go. Nice Oris OU. I hope my man picks up this time. So, this team Chill Shadow brings it looks pretty familiar. I've seen this team before. I like the Diggers B on Trosgo's team. Uh, Voltron was Diggers B. I like it a lot. So, this is um, the Wolfpack are up 2 and 0, oh, if I'm not mistaken, versus the Sharks. Why are you not picking up, dude? We'll see if he will if he calls back. So, Prosco has um, Roxco Flable. This is his only potential rocker, and I think I've played this team on the ladder, on like some suspect ladder in Oris. I don't even know if it was suspect, but I played this team on the ladder. Yeah, this is why this is why I want to call before the game starts. But for some reason, people always tell me call me when the game starts, and then if they don't pick up, yeah. Like that doesn't make any sense. Calling like five minutes before the game starts is better. So yeah, they just exchange rocks. I think this is knockoff clef. This one that Chill Shadow has. I think this wasn't this team used by Poik versus Poke Aim, and also Poik used this in an old T. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, Diggers B looks a bit threatening, but it doesn't really come in on anything because it's frail. Um, yeah, especially not on a crit. So they exchange Moonblast because they don't want to switch out. Um, like, they don't have the best switch ins. Like, Trosco could go into Scissor, but if Chill Shadow has Flamethrower, like, if you change the set from, from Knock Off or T Wave to Flamethrower, that would be bad for Trosco. So, I mean, Trosco, Trosco's Clef got his attack drop, which is, like, bad for him. Yeah, it is Fire Blast, exactly. That's why you didn't go to Scissor. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, Fire Blast Scissor to lure. Um, Fire Blast Clef to lure Scissors for Metagross makes a lot of sense. And Strusco is probably just uh, gonna go for Soft Boiled here. As Chill Shadow gets the Metagross in, he doesn't like. Like, this is just a free switch in the Scissor. And this is his HP via Metagross 2, which I don't think it would be. Um, Yeah, he breaks the Scissor, nice double. Hydreigon runs uh, Flamethrower or Fire Blast 2, potentially. There's a Clefable in the back, so. Would be nice to see him go for Flash Can here. Like Clefables is only the only potential switch in here. I don't think he would stay in here because he needs this for the mana growth. Um, AV Torn is another potential switch in. Yeah. Okay, that is specs. That is so much. If he went for Flashkin, that is Clef would have gone blown away. Good God. Like if he went for specs Flashkin, this would have like taken 500 bajillion, and then he could have doubled next turn, predicting the Rotom or the Scissor. I mean, what beats Rotom on his team? He doesn't have the best Rotom count. Nah, he doesn't have a good Rotom count. That is. Like, Hydreigon beats Rotom, but Hydreigon would have been locked in, so. Yeah, it doesn't really beat Rotom if it's locked into Flashkin or Flamethrower. Um, I don't even know if it has Flashkin. If it has Flamethrower, it has dra Dark Pulse and the uh, Dragon Stab. And then in the last slot. It could have Flashkin in the last slot, yeah. That makes some sense. So he gets the Diggers be in on a free switch when on the turn that Clef goes for soft belt, which is how you have to play this thing because it's frail and you can just fire off. I think it's banded, and this frustration is gonna blow the land. Yeah, that's banded. That's defensive Lando. Um, gets to it KO'd by this. Diggers be should out speed. He can go Metagross here if he wants to. Let me just check. Uh, okay, he said let's, let's discard. Okay. Yeah, I also prefer this code over Skype, I don't know. Oh, it is not banned? I said it's banned because it did so much. Wait. So it's maybe it's just adamant. 
That's just a raw power, and that's maybe not defensive. Max defense lander then. But yeah, that U turn is nice because I think killing the. I guess he predicted him to go Malagros, That's why he is. No, if he if he predicted him to go Malagros, he could have earthquake. So what did he predict there? That's like weird because, like, SDing there doesn't do much because Malagros outspeeds you and kills you. So I don't understand SDing there. Oh uh, no! If you're jolly, if he's jolly, he's faster before the mega evolution. This is this is not Sun and Moon. This is Aurus. He sd it again. Okay. I don't understand SDing again. Yes, he predicted him to go Landris, but. That was super aggressive. Like at least go for frustration as a mid ground play. That was such a crazy prediction, dude. Like, yes, I get his play, but that was <laughs> yeah. He said you live, you learn. That was so unnecessary aggressive in my opinion. Like what? <laughs> I mean, now he's, he has to Volt Switch now. He's just in the back. I think Trusco just loses this. The, the Specs High Dragon will... Okay, he goes for T-Wave. That's nice. So, I think last week he used T-Wave Starmie and now he uses <laughs> T-Wave Rotom. Okay. Which makes sense because he's weak to Zardex. If Zardex gets a DD up. Actually, last, last week he used a Zardex himself. If I recall correctly. And the week before that... I think he lost to a Zardex, so yeah, there's a lot of Zardex going on with Trusco. Blade Zardex, used Zardex, is, has t with Rotom to check Zardex kick. <laughs> yeah, I'ma I'm call in for the next game. I don't want to have Discord like show up on the screen. I already had Skype show up for a few seconds. So he is Flamethrower, which makes sense predicting a potential Metagross. Since this Clef should Potentially, like, should be this 1v1 with Paras, maybe, maybe not. I mean... Nah, this doesn't necessarily beat this Clef, this is just gonna be annoying. Um, like, Softball click and Moonblast click. This is gonna take a while, but he gets a drop, which is something. Yeah, Menz doesn't get Para there. He's just gonna flame so now, because he doesn't... Flamethrower or Moonblast? Because Rotom comes in on Flamethrower. Rotom's so good though for chill. Yeah, that's a that's, ton is a good play. Because Rotom is really good in this matchup. You don't want Rotom taking damage. Of course he gets a Flamethrower one. Good god. Like, I don't want to talk shit. But, like, last week Trusco dodged the Thunder. And not, not only he dodged the Thunder, he also got some other hacks in his favor. And I feel like that hex was like... That made the game like a lot in his favor, which a game that he could have lost otherwise. Exit 10 joined. Um, I hope they won't play immediately. So Exit 10 is playing with Elkans. They the, this is scheduled for the same time. Yeah, Elkans is online. Oh, please wait a few minutes. That, that uh, flamethrower burn is annoying. <laughs> so Ned is longevity gets worn down like it's there's not that much longevity. Knockoff is nice to get rid of the lefties and I think he's just gonna vault out here. Yeah. I feel like going cleft there was maybe the better play because you wanna keep if you chill chill you wanna keep your realm healthy because it's so good in this matchup. It beats the Torn. It can potentially beat the scissor. I mean, yeah, it beats the scissor if it hits with a wisp, obviously. Yeah, I remember. Okay, it just vaulted out. And yeah, this torn would have been like. I think 16, 18% health. Yeah, if it didn't get the, if it didn't get the flamethrower burn, 
So the stone cannot really regen like with rocks up and with burn. So it's just really low. <laughs> I remember Trosco made a really aggressive play was get this money with uh, Crawland when he SD breaked and the Feral Thunder come in. That that play worked out. But like GTM also made aggressive plays to come back in that game with a DD Zardex. Yeah, has to use another to save this and he doesn't want to go hard mana aggress because yeah, he knows he's going for flamethrower. Um, Chill Shadow is still in a slightly better position, in my opinion. Yeah, like, um, three more games I want to record for you guys today, maybe even four games. The, the, the Flame Victini game, which is like later on in the night, it's already like 10.30 here in the evening. Uh, it's, yeah, Clef on Clef action, not really interesting. <laughs> um, this is a bit sad, because I wanted to put Diggis in a thumbnail. Because, like, Diggis be such a cool mod, I wanted to, see, to do some more work. Man's just played super aggressive with it for so. Oh well. I mean, that was that was like the prediction. If it works out, you're like in a decent position. But oh, he okay. If he gets goes of flamethrower again, catches the Melrose. Nice play. I feel like I wanted to say something else. Oh yeah, what other games are there that? That I'm hyped for. There's a black and white game with CL, but yeah, I don't. I'm not the best black and white narrator, but I'm trying to bring you that. And there's also the Flame Victini game is the most exciting one. Then there's the Alcans with Axel 10 after as the Metagross gets a mash boost. I mean that's revenge hex because this Torn got flamethrower burn, but I think this hex matters a bit more because this Metagross kind of just runs through his team now. Like, um, Tornadus can kill us with Heatwave, but if Tornadus doesn't have Heatwave, he kind of just loses to this. Like, yeah, I guess Scissor can, Scissor can still beat it. Scissor can still beat it, but Scissor's gonna take a lot from this, like, T-Punch or Mesh or whatever. So, like, if Scissor gets weakened... Does that open up anything if Scissor gets weak? Not really. I think Torn is the play here. Maybe he doesn't have Heave Wave, which might be why he's taking so long. Okay, he, okay, okay, he makes the Scissor play. I mean, he kind of has to roost here. Watch this be Dynamic Punch. Okay, Earthquake. Yeah, that does a ton, but Scissor still eats it. So yeah, I think he has to go hard Rotom, yeah, nice play. Um Rotom or Clef there like Nah his Clef is paralyzed, I didn't nah never mind, nah, Clef is not the play, what am I saying? If he has these there and he goes Clef. Nah nah nah, that's definitely not the play. Yeah, going Rotom was the right play and Yeah if he has a Clefable, but I think you're forced I think you're forced to Will O Wisp here. Even though he has a Clefable in the back, you cannot afford to play around. This is a big threat. And by staying in with this Rotom, you get some leftovers back, which is always nice. Like, if this Rotom is healthy, it's basically, like, Chill Shadow is in a good position if this Rotom is healthy. He makes the unnecessary aggressive play. Like I said, there's no reason to overpredict. No, I don't like that play. I mean, yeah, I also don't like Trosco's play, honestly. Like, you always go cleft there and you always blow with there. Like... I get vault switching, but it's like aggressive. Uh, like, you have to like consider what the scissor scissor such a threat. Like you have yes, you have Hydreigon to check it, but and you have Rotom to check it, and you have the thing out that checks it as he gets the confusion and he's live up Torm and he Clefable hits himself, so that's really annoying. Like hitting a hurricane, getting the confusion and to hit himself. Yes, he was paralyzed, but so that's HPIs, I would assume. Which makes some sense if you don't want to miss Hurricane on Lando. Um, 
It could also be HP Grass to do and Rotoms, but I don't think. We will see if it's HP Grass, I might actually kill the Rotom. Because it's Life Orb. I mean... This looks like some like anti-stall, honestly. The Digger's B is SD plus the, plus the Life Orb Torn. With Wall Turn, which is like really... Like in general, I like this I like this team. But I don't like how this is going. Like that the clef has to got like the clef got hexed down, the the torn got flamethrower burned. And the, the mesh boost that Chill Shadow got actually didn't matter. Like earlier I said it mattered a bit, but like a bit more even than the flamethrower burn, but it actually didn't matter at all because there's also still, still walled it. The only way is it matters it would have mattered is um, if it got another mash boost or if it flinched the scissor with like Zen Headbutt. If it even had Zen Headbutt, it didn't show that yet. I don't think it would have it. So, Super Power doesn't kill, and Volt Switch will probably pick off the Torn. Um, Pain Split is a potential play, but just Volt Switching is fine. Yeah, what I was trying to say earlier on the ladder, I might have made the Volt Switch play that aggressive one, but the scissor is such a threat, like I said, and in a tour, I definitely wouldn't play around with big threats. Wait, I think my dimensions changed, but yeah, the dimensions are still fine, but I had them a little bit different. I had like... No, this is perfectly fine. Like, you can see the Eternal Smoke just chat and everything. I mean, the Torn is gone now, so... Bringing out the Hydreigon here basically forces him to go into Ladi. Cause like, Clef dies to Flash Can, Scissor dies to Flamethrower. Ladi is the only thing that outspeeds Hydreigon. Um, he could go, what he, what he could do is go to Clef and bank on this not having Flash Can. Or he could also go to Clef and then go to Scissor on the Flash Can, predict, like predicting a Flash Can. And then he can go for Roost. But I think, um, since the Clef on Chill Shadows had died, Ladios can uh, is free to fire off a Draco here, to, and it basically gets a kill. But he's probably like thinking long term what happens if he does that play. Uh, the Ladi could be Scar Feeling Wish, but I think it's just Life Orb. Maybe he's Kalking too, but I think the the Hydreigon is specs because Hydreigon used uh, Flamethrower at 50 to Clef, so that just seems like specs damage. Mantis is really thinking hard here. Um. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, okay. I just. I was just uh, checking if. He said if I should call again. But yeah, I don't have Discord open, so. I'll do that after the match. Yeah, he makes that Ladi play like I thought he would, and like Draco gets a kill, like I said. Um, besides, it can miss, like that's the only way it doesn't get a kill. Like, what do you sack here if you chill shadow? The, the torn doesn't do much, I think sacking the torn is fine. But yeah, the Metagross also gets walled. The Metagross gets walled by the scissor, so sacking the Metagross is also fine. But, uh, how, wait, how did he, no, no, wait, never mind, wait. So I think he had, I think he has Flash Cannon on the inside Dragon. Cause otherwise there's no, he, he doesn't beat the Clefable. If he doesn't have Flash Cannon on the Hydreigon, he loses to Clefable now, kind of. So I think that's the only way he would, he would make that play. So he Scarf Landris. And we could see a healing, I could see a healing wish coming out here. Or just another Draco. Uh, Draco should still kill the Torn. Yeah, that's the healing wish. Into Scissor or... Uh, doesn't really matter what the healing wish is into. Um, actually it does matter. If he goes Scissor and he has these, the, the Hydreigon cannot kill him then. Like, cause he kills the Hydreigon after Rocks are plus two. But the Rotom... Yeah, the Rotom is super low. Scissor actually can... If it's fast, Scissor just wins here. If, if this doesn't have Heat Wave, but... So the thing is, I don't know if he can afford to SD because this might have heat wave. 
But yeah, if he's the if he's the fast scissor, which I don't think he is, because he took uh, nothing. Yeah, the seed wave. Oh my god, he didn't bullet punch. But yeah, if he's fast scissor, he still wins. But I don't think he's that sad. Like, okay, nice play to get off the intimidate. So I I um, I think Rodham was actually my Rodham might have died, because Rodham is at nine. Actually, not at nine. It's at yeah, Rodham is at. 9% after rock, so it might die to bullet punch. Now it probably lives a bullet punch. So you go to Rotom here, you Oh if I dragon yeah, if I dragon lives this is you just win with Specs Fleshkin. Yeah. Specs Fleshkin how dragon wins, yeah. Like he probably cocked this and he yeah this this lives and he has Fleshkin, yeah. Nice play, nice play. Well played by Shield Shadow in the end. Like I figured he had to be flash can since he sacked his metagross, so he we would never sack your metagross if you're not flash can on this. Kosko realizes, um, yeah, he didn't play the optimal, and yeah, this Clefable doesn't lift this. There's no way. Trusk is um, kind of disappointed by himself, I guess. I mean, it happens, it happens. You just didn't consider risk versus reward there, but I'm definitely not the one to talk down on him. Um, I'm a, Usually I'm a fan of his builds, and I don't think he's a bad player either, but I think it's his first SPL, so he has to, like, train a bit. Like, he has to, like, adapt to this situation. In a tour. I don't know on how many tours he has played. I don't know. I don't have the knowledge. Thank you guys for watching. I think the wolf packs are up 3 and 0 versus the sharks. And I will see you with Axel 10 versus Alcans. Peace out, friends.